Books by Hulda Clark. In each episode, we'll read an excerpt from the books by Dr. Hulda Clark, with practical advice on ways to avoid the many pollutants found in mass-produced products, recipes for traditional herbal cleanses like the herbal parasite cleanse, kidney cleanse, and liver cleanse, and information about the Hulda Clark Zapper, a handheld frequency device that targets many common germs. To learn more, visit huldaclark.com. Statements by Hulda Clark have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration, not intended to replace medical care, diagnose, treat, or cure disease. Please consult with a licensed health care practitioner before attempting any self-health program. Pain from Toe to Head The pain-killing industry also brought us the addiction industry. As we turn to electrical pain-killing, the need for addicting drugs should decline. There are other very useful painkillers, acupuncture, massage, listening to music, feedback devices, contemplation, hypnotism, and prayer. But we will focus on getting rid of the cause of pain and healing the organs that are in pain, so none of these methods are needed. I am not talking about the pain of a broken bone, twisted ankle, bee sting, or sunburn. I am not talking about the pain of a misaligned vertebra or stretch trauma in your leg muscles or arm muscles. I am referring to pain that is in one of your organs and refuses to go away. For example, arthritis. Other pains are headache, foot pain, elbow pain, hip pain, chest pain. All of these may have special names like rheumatoid arthritis, cluster headache, fibromyalgia, bursitis, tennis elbow, and so on. But they are all the same phenomenon. Knowing that parasites and pollutants are the real culprits, let us get right down to the job of finding out which they are, where they come from, and how to get rid of them. The parasites that cause pain are not the large ones like worms or amoebas, nor are they the very tiny viruses. They are bacteria. Bacteria are the right size to get into the doorways of our cells. Our cells try to keep their doorways tight shut, but, of course, they have to open to let food in, or hormones, or other life signals. If bacteria are swarming around the outside of cells, some will manage to slip into a doorway while it is open. A battle begins. The cells refuse to let the bacteria in. The bacteria refuse to let go of the door latch. There is probably a specific electrical attraction between them and an exact physical fit. The body's extra forces, the immune system, are called in to help quell the invasion. The bacteria multiply as fast as they can. There is swelling. There is heat produced. There is pressure against other organs. Altogether, it is called inflammation and infection. The answer is not to de-inflame with drugs like the cortisone variety. The answer is not to reduce swelling or body temperature. The answer is certainly not painkiller. The answer is to kill the bacteria. Even this is not the ultimate answer. We must stop the source of the bacteria and your body's invitation to be invaded. We will get to this later. So, step one is to search for the bacteria nibbling at our painful regions and identify them. This gives us the clue to finding their source. Step two is to exterminate them electrically. Within minutes, they fall out of the doorways to our cells. Your white blood cells are waiting for them 
and will gobble them up in a grand feast. But remember, there is another cause of pain, pollutants. Step three is to find the pollutants and identify them, because this gives us a clue as to their source. Step four is to eliminate our pollution sources, and the job is done. Pain is gone. This has been The Cure for All Diseases by Hulda Clark, pages 51 to 53. For more information about Hulda Clark, visit huldaclark.com.